Excuse me, I'm great. How about you? Good. Good. What was different about the offseason program this year? Man, we, uh, I mean, really, the only difference was um, Coach Wiley and them, you know, they put some more valuable information in front of us. And uh, us as, as, as players, we did a great job of taking that information, uh, soaking it all in, and just buying in, to be honest. Uh, that's why you see the differences you've seen in people's bodies. Um, I know there was stuff floating around on social media about um, a couple people, uh, and you know, their body type, their body shape from the beginning of winter to the end of winter. So, yeah, it was just a lot of buy-in, to be honest. What kind of information does that mean? Information, like, as far as what to put in your body, when to put it in there, how frequent to, you know, to put what in your body. So, um, it really was just a lot of, mainly it had to do with rest and recovery um, and what you put in your body. The weights uh, is going to be the same wherever you go around the country, for the most part. Uh, depending on you know what coaching staff you're with, some stuff they do differently in the weight room, but uh, for the most part, it's about the same. It's just all about the buy-in. Uh, and I had an old coach I always used to say, you know, everybody does the same thing for about two hours. It's just what you do with the other 22. And I think that's what we got better as a team. What was the big takeaway for you in terms of the rest of the 22 hours of the day? Uh, so mine was a little different. Uh, obviously, I prided myself in putting on weight. Um, you know, I've heard here and there that. Uh, I'm too small or I'm maybe too weak. So uh, I took that. I took that personally, and I still am. And us as players and, you know, Coach Wilder and them, they're taking that personally as well. Uh, but we're taking it personally, you know, as, as a positive thing. Um, so as the day went on, you know, obviously we worked out um, in the afternoon. Uh, so my day was really split up into two days. Obviously I would eat breakfast and stuff before workouts. And then after workouts, I would have a snack immediately or some type of protein shake. And then I would eat like two to three more times uh, that evening, so before I go to sleep. And that's just how I, you know, continue to put on weight the right way. So, and uh, it worked. I mean, I put on around nine pounds of muscle over eight weeks. So, and we're still going. What does Isaiah Rakes look like so far in practice? Uh, Isaiah Rakes looks wonderful. He's um, he's definitely a, a leader, I would say for sure. Definitely coming from a you know a, a different team in Texas and them. He's definitely bringing some of the knowledge he's had uh, in his career so far uh, to some of the younger guys and even to me and you know some of the other players as well. So he's great to you know practice with so far, and I can't wait to see the, excuse me the good things that he does in the future. What's it about Coach Henny and his approach? Man, I love Coach Henny. Man, he's uh, he's awesome. He's uh, I mean I, we could talk about his approach all day, but it, for me it's his story that that, that intrigues me a lot. Um, I'm sure you know y'all were there when they did the introduction. His story is amazing. And to see like how he coaches, it makes sense. You know, he doesn't he doesn't take any anything. He doesn't take any excuses. Um, him and Coach Newell pair well together. So I'm excited, man. I'm excited to to to, to continue to play under them and obviously under Coach Lynn and Coach Riley. Um, but yeah, his approach has been awesome. Like I said, he takes no no slack at all. He's just been coaching us very very hard. So I'm excited. How do you present his story to you guys? He really he he did he didn't tell us the whole story. I just do my research and obviously I watch the introduction. And I want to know, you know, more of who I'm being coached by. And I just knew it was something about him. Meeting him, I'm like, nah, he can't have a regular story because I have a crazy story myself. So, I, you know, it takes one to know him. Jamil, with Anthony Lucas, Braylon Shelby, Cameron Fountain, you got a lot of talent on that edge rushing group. What's the competition like with those guys every day? Man, it's, uh, I mean, it's up there. You know, it, it's going to be competition all across the board, um, whether it be O-line, D-line, receivers, DBs. Um, but, you know, the way, you know, just how everything's being ran now, it's going to be tons of opportunity um, to show what you can do, and you got to just take that opportunity and run with it. With the new staff additions, is your role on Saturday is going to change much? Uh, I guess we'll have to see. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it, it'll, things, will, things will definitely look different, I think, for the better. Um, but as far as, like, systems and stuff like that, that's, that's probably a better question for Coach Lane. Have you seen the offseason strength program kind of show up already on the practice field for you guys? Uh, I know, I know. You know, watching tape and you know, just looking from afar during practice, um, it definitely looks different. Like even looking at the old line without pads on. Like, uh, I know, and probably some of it is because I've already I seen I seen numbers. I seen numbers where like our average weight offensive line was like 303 last year, and that was like 314. Like, it may look like oh 11 pounds, but that's a difference. Um, D line, I know we had tremendous gains in the off season so far as far as you know the weight we put on. And it looks different in drills. It looks different uh, translating from drills to the to the practice field or to a different you know team period. So uh, it looks awesome so far. I can't wait to you know continue to see it progress. Just one more. When you talk about that difference from last year, sorry, this similar question got asked, but 
the philosophical change from just getting guys guys bigger, you know, what do you sense as far as how that was needed last year, how that's going to translate just to, to this season, especially up front? Yeah, it, it most definitely was was needed last year. It was definitely warranted, um, and we felt that coming coming out of last season. Although we did have a great win against Louisville, uh, I, I feel like we definitely dominated in some areas on the offensive line, on the defensive line in the Louisville game. You know, the, the bowl game, but we definitely it was still that uh, elephant in the room, so to speak. And we definitely knew it. Coach Riley knew it. The coaches knew it. Us as players knew it. And we just had to. Uh, take it with a grain of salt and take it personal to actually want to buy in and get better. So I think it starts within, it starts individually, and it's just something that circulates throughout the whole team. Thanks, guys.